Welcome to the earnings update of Mutut Finance Limited and its subsidiaries for the first quarter of the financial year 2023-24. The highlights of this quarter increase in the consolidated loan AUM 21% year on year at 76,799 crores. We also saw the highest ever quarterly gold loan disbursement of 53,612 crores, an all-time high gold loan portfolio growth in any quarter of 4,164 crores and a consolidated profit after tax of 21% year-on-year growth which now stands at 1,045 crores. There is also an increase in the standalone profit after tax of 22% year-on-year which now stands at 975 crores. An all-time high interest collection in any quarter one of 2,863 was also recorded in this quarter. The group was able to open 59 new branches in this quarter. Muthut Finance, the flagship company, has received permission from Reserve Bank of India in July 23 to open 114 branches. We also raised an in of 100. 79 crores, all from the retail investors. This new financial quarter has shown remarkable growth for us at Muthut Finance. Our core business of gold loan has made great progress, surpassing expectations, and the subsidiary companies like Wellstar Microfinance Limited have performed exceedingly well. This success has been made possible by the steadfast support and trust of our exceed stakeholders. Amid these achievements, we launched our new campaign featuring our brand ambassador, Mrs. Mathuri Dixit, who joins hands along with Mr. Amita Bachchan. This collaboration embodies our mutual dedication to trust, reliability and excellence. Our groundbreaking Milligram Rewards program continues to captivate our customers, responding to escalating customer needs. We have expanded our gold loan at home services across the nation, making it more convenient and accessible. Our steadfast dedication to corporate social responsibility manifests through impactful initiatives spanning education, health and environment. Now let us delve into a comprehensive breakdown of our diverse assets and their outstanding performance in the inaugural quarter of this financial year, 2023-24. Sharing the financial results of Muthut Finance Limited and its subsidiaries for the first quarter of the financial year, 2023-24. The diversified businesses of the Muthut Finance Group consist of Muthut Finance Limited, the flagship company, Muthut Home Fin India Limited, Bellstar Microfinance Limited, Muthut Money Limited, Asia Asset Finance PLC, Muthut Insurance Brokers Private Limited, Muthud Asset Management Private Limited and Muthud Trustee Private Limited. The consolidated gross loan assets under management of the group stood at rupees 76,799 crores at the end of quarter one financial year 24, compared with rupees 63,444 crores at the end of quarter one financial year 23, a year on year increase of 21%. The consolidated profit of the group after tax stood at rupees 1045 crores for quarter 1 financial year 24 compared to rupees 825 crores in quarter 1 financial year 23 a year on year increase of 27% the group branch network of Muthud finance and its subsidiaries stood at 5897 branches at the end of the first quarter of financial year 2023-24 adding 59 new branches in the quarter Muthud Finance Limited reported a standalone profit after tax of Rs 975 crores for quarter 1 financial year 2024 compared to Rs 802 crores for quarter 1 financial year 2023, a year-on-year -year growth of 22%. The gross loan assets under management of Muthud Finance Limited, the flagship company, stood at Rs 67,639 crores for quarter 1 financial year 2024, compared with Rs 56,689 crores at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2023, a year-on-year -year increase of 19%.
the company witnessed the highest ever quarterly gold loan disbursement of Rs 53,612 crores in quarter 1 financial year 24. Also, an all-time high gold loan portfolio growth in any quarter 1 of Rs 4,164 crores, a quarter-on-quarter -quarter increase of 7%. Muthud Finance is present in 29 states and union territories, has a 100,000-plus retail investor base across its debenture and subordinated debt portfolios and 182 tons of gold jewelry kept as security by its valued customers while availing loan. Muthud Finance has a strong promoter interest with a 73% shareholding. Muthud Finance has a strong geographical presence in the country with 4,742 branches and caters to the underserved and semi-urban markets in India. Muthud Finance was awarded India's Most Trusted Financial Services Brand 2023 for the seventh year in a row by TRA's Brand Trust Report. Board of Directors Promoter Group of Muthud Finance Group Board of Directors Independent Directors of Muthud Finance Group Digital innovations for our valued customers include direct credit facility, loan repayment options through Paytm, Google Pay and Phone Pay, POS terminals, WhatsApp banking, and AI-based chatbots, among others. Our digital initiatives have borne fruit with 38.7% of our gold loan customers now transacting online. Loan at Home is an app-based digital service with which a customer can apply for a gold loan from the comfort of their home without having to visit the branch. Muthud Finance's net worth stands at Rs 21,177 crores at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2024, compared to Rs 18,325 crores at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2023. The gold loan assets under the management of Muthud Finance stands at Rs 66,039 crores at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2024, compared to Rs 56,177 crores at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2023, a year-on-year -year increase of 18%. Muthud Finance enjoys stable sources of funding, primarily in the form of listed, secured, non-convertible debentures, bank borrowings and external commercial borrowings. Muthud Finance enjoys the highest rating for its debt instruments amongst gold loan companies from domestic and international credit rating agencies. At the end of quarter 1 financial year 2024, gold jewelry kept as security by our valued customers stood at 182 tons of gold. The average gold loan per branch of Muthud Finance stood at Rs 14 crores at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2024, compared with Rs 12 crores at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2023. Muthud Finance has a highly liquid loan portfolio with average monthly gold loan disbursements of Rs 17,900 crores and an average monthly gold loan collection of Rs 16,500 crores in quarter 1 financial year 2024. For quarter 1 financial year 2024, from the lender's perspective, the margin of safety on loans stands at 32% considering the collateral value and from the borrower's perspective, the equity of the borrower in gold ornaments net of loans availed stood at 43% considering the jewelry value at current prices. The net interest margin on loans stood at 11.58% for quarter 1 financial year 2024. The return on average loan assets stood at 5.96% for quarter 1 financial year 2024. Muthud Finance Limited has a strong capital adequacy ratio of 30.03% of its risk-weighted assets as at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2024 against RBI stipulation of 15%. Muthud Finance have trained and skilled workforce of 27,701 numbers at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2024. On to the subsidiaries. Asia Asset Finance is a Sri Lankan subsidiary of Muthud Finance. Asia Asset Finance had 77 branches at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2024 compared to 75 branches at the end of quarter 4 financial year 2023. The gross loan AUM of Asia Asset Finance stood at Sri Lankan rupees 2010 crores at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2024 compared with Sri Lankan rupees 1762 crores at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2023 an increase of 14% year over year. Asia Asset Finance PLC reported a profit after tax of Sri Lankan rupees 6 crores for quarter 1 financial year 2024 compared to Sri Lankan rupees 5 crores for quarter 1 financial year 2023. 
Muthud Home Fin India Limited is the housing finance subsidiary of Muthud Finance Limited. Muthud Home Fin India Limited has 111 branches span India. The gross loan AUM of Muthud Home Fin India Limited stood at rupees 1501 crores at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2024 compared to rupees 1475 crores at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2023. Muthud Home Fin India Limited reported a profit after tax of rupees 4.72 crores for quarter 1 financial year 2024 compared to rupees 1.45 crores for quarter 1 financial year 2023 an increase of 226% year over year. Muthud Insurance Brokers Private Limited is an insurance broking subsidiary of Muthud Finance Limited that deals with general and life insurance products. Muthud Insurance Brokers Private Limited collected premiums of rupees 148 crores by issuing 9,16,295 policies during quarter 1 financial year 2024 compared to rupees 131 crores of premium collection and 11,85,441 policies issued during quarter 1 financial year 2023. Muthud Insurance Brokers Private Limited reported a profit after tax of rupees 10 crores for quarter 1 financial year 2024 compared to rupees 7 crores in quarter 1 financial year 2023. Bellstar Microfinance Limited is the microfinance subsidiary of Muthud Finance Limited. Bellstar has 782 branches as at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2024 compared to 768 branches as at the end of quarter 4 financial year 2023. The gross loan AUM of Bellstar stood at rupees 7,008 crores at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2024 compared to rupees 4,696 crores at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2023, an increase of 49% year over year. Bellstar reported a profit after tax of rupees 52 crores for quarter 1 financial year 2024 compared to rupees 14 crores for quarter 1 financial year 2023, an increase of 271% year over year. Muthud Money Limited is a wholly owned subsidiary of Muthud Finance Limited. Muthud Money expanded its branch network from 149 at the end of quarter 4 financial year 2023 to 185 at the end of quarter 1 financial year 2024. Gross loan AUM for quarter 1 financial year 2024 increased to rupees 496 crores as against rupees 198 crores in quarter 1 financial year 2023. Total revenue for quarter 1 financial year 2024 stood at rupees 21 crores. Now that we had an overview of the financials, let us move to express our gratitude to our valued investors and partners whose unwavering belief in our vision has propelled us on this remarkable journey. Our sincere appreciation also goes to our lenders whose steadfast financial support has been a driving force behind our growth. At this point, we would like to acknowledge the invaluable role played by the regulators who diligently oversee our operations, ensuring compliance and fostering a robust financial environment. Last, but certainly not the least, our dedicated employees deserve special mention for their unwavering resolve and tireless efforts that have translated our ambitious plans into reality. To every stakeholder, we offer our profound thanks. Your unwavering support and confidence in our endeavors continue to inspire us towards excellence. As we look ahead, we eagerly anticipate further building up on this outstanding success in the years to come. With your continued support, trust, we remain steadfast in our commitment to make a meaningful and positive impact on the life of our customers and communities we serve. Jai Hind.